في قوات هنا محور الشمال اي ولا الغامق We're not on one political side or the other, but we are on the side of the victims. And we're very pleased to talk to you, senior commanders, because you are the guys in the front line. We mediate to create peace. Sometimes we mediate before armed conflict has, has broken out to, to prevent it. Sometimes we try to resolve it once it's already uh, broken out. And sometimes where there is no possibility to resolve the conflict immediately, we try to secure humanitarian access, we try to reduce the cost to human beings of armed conflict. How do you sort that out? How do you disentangle that? Dialogue and mediation are the right tools at every stage in a conflict. That there are times when parties can't speak directly to one another, but there has to be a channel of communication. Les différents protagonistes et adversaires politiques pouvaient parler en confiance. Cet espace leur appartenait, c'est-à-dire qu'ils n'en sortiraient rien que eux-mêmes ne décideraient pas. Why must we allow violence? It's about how much effort we put into consulting people before we set up a process. We plan so much, we plan more than we even do the dialogue. Donbass is the location of many chemical storage sites, uh, nuclear sites, and so we're gathering the best information from the experts and the scientists, try to influence or, or encourage new thinking about um, you know, protecting the environment, which can potentially affect hundreds of thousands of people. They have a strong interest in any work on preventing an ecological problem. I think the important objectives of HD are to be completely impartial. Independence. I think responsive. Our biggest strength is our ability to work discreetly. We're non-threatening, we're small. Our weakness is our strength. I would say that we are flexible, uh, we are agile. Entrepreneurial, creative. I think that we're willing to take risks. Results-oriented, humane. I hope we can come back soon. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you.